welcome to shorts classes today we are going to be dealing with some important questions on mathematical statistics you can call or whatsapp at the number given on the screen or in the description below let's dive right into our first question we are given a cumulative distribution function from this distribution function we need to find the values of x belonging between 0 and 1 by 4 and probability of 0 greater than or equals to 3 by 4 also we have to find the probability x is equals to half let's see how to do this probability x belonging between 0 and 1 by 4 can be calculated using the definite integrals 0 to 1 by 4 2x dx which equals to x square 1 by 4 0 and the value comes as 1 by 16 similarly we will be doing for the rest of the probability x greater than or equals to 3 by 4 this equals integration from 3 by 4 to 1 half dx which equals to x by 2 integration 1 3 by 4 equals to 1 by 8 similarly probability x equals to half is equals to 0 as in continuous probability of probability random variable taking a si single value is 0 that these are the answers of our question moving on to another new question we are given a continuous random variable with the following probability density function we need to find the value of probability that mod x belongs to 1 and 2 let's do it in a new screen probability mod x lying between 1 and 2 and we found out equals to probability x belonging from minus 2 to minus 1 plus probability x belonging from 1 to 2 I have done a certain part of the calculation so that it is easier and faster for you to see now containing this equation solving we have integration minus 2 to minus 1 half e to power x minus 1 dx plus 1 to 2 integration half e to power minus of whole x minus 1 dx upon solution this comes as half e to power minus 2 minus e to power minus 3 plus half minus of e to power minus 1 plus 1 this equals to half whole into 1 minus e to power minus 1 plus e to power minus 2 minus e to power minus 3 and this is our answer moving on to another question now we have a very important question on Chebyshev's inequality we are given x random variable such that x1 x2 dot 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 xn 100 b i i d we are given u minus 0 0.5 and 0.5 random variables and let t equals to x1 plus x2 plus x3 dot 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 till plus x 100 now using Chebyshev's inequality we need to show the following P t square is greater than or equals to 25 and less than 1 by 3 for u minus 0.5.5 we have expectation x equals to minus half to half x dx which is equals to 0 therefore expectation x square is given as minus half to half x square dx equals to 2 by 3 into 1 by 8 equals to 1 by 12 I have done it earlier so that I can show you the most important part now we find variance of x which is equals to sigma square 
and that is equals to half therefore sigma equals to 1 2 root 3 notice I have made a mistake earlier it will be 1 by 12 now expectation of t equals to expectation of summation xi which equals to 0 therefore vt equals to 100 into 1 by 12 which equals to 25 by 3 therefore sigma t equals to 5 by root 3 now using Chebyshev inequality we have Chev, Chev's probability probability t minus expectation of t whole in mod greater than k sigma t which is less than 1 by k square therefore p t greater than 5k by root 3 less than 1 by k square or less than 1 by 3 therefore probability t greater than equals to 5 is less than 1 by 3 now putting k equals to root 3 we have probability t square greater than equals to 25 which is also less than equals to 1 by 3 and thus we have obtained our answer we are given a set of random sample of size 10 ranging from x1 to x10 from a population having a probability density function as given in the question notice theta is greater than 0 we have to test h0 theta equals to 2 against alternated hypothesis h1 theta equals to 4 at the level of significance of alpha is to 0.05 we have to find the most powerful test and also the power of this test now we have the likelihood function as l x theta i have done the whole process so that you can see as i explain pi f x by theta equals to pi i from 1 to 10 theta x i to the power theta plus 1 theta to the power 10 into pi 1 to 10 1 by x i theta plus 1 now let us consider h1 theta equals to 4 and h0 theta equals to 2 we find the best critical region using Neeman Pearson lemma which is given by this is what we get I have solved it further so that it is easier for you to calculate now after this calculation we find probability to summation i from 1 to 10 log of xi less than equals to 10 log 2 minus log k such that h0 is true and this equals to alpha and it is given that alpha is equals to 0 0.05 thus we evaluate the most powerful test that is beta equals to small p x belonging to w bar such that h1 is true therefore 
beta equals to p into 2 summation i equals to 1 to 10 this whole term log of xi less than equals to 10 log 2 minus log k at theta equals to 4 and this is our final answer with this we come to an end of another amazing video we'll be uploading more such videos soon so like subscribe and contact us at the number below for any doubts or full video classes thank you